In this video, I'm gonna show you the number one thing I did to double my downloads, and it's probably not what you think. It actually has something to do with how you upload it. So we're gonna dive into my computer in just a minute, but you know, I've really enjoyed sharing some motivation, and if you are starting a podcast or you have one and you're feeling like it's not worth it or you're not gonna make it, just know that the two things you can control are consistency and then the length of time that you're willing to commit to it. And those are the most powerful things. I was looking at the stats of my YouTube channel, which is this channel, this morning um, on the video I just released last night. And uh, you know, it had like 30 watches. It's amazing getting 30 people to watch something and there was a comment. And it immediately brought me back to, you know, about two years ago when the podcast that I was doing was new and I had this, um, you know, I made $10 that week from the podcast. And I remember telling somebody, I was riding in the car with somebody like, you know, how excited I was because that $10 was gonna pay for like a lunch. And uh, that was like the most amazing feeling. Now the podcast is growing, you know, if you watch the previous video, you know that it almost made $900 last week. And so that was $10 in a week before, but I just enjoyed that process so much. And it was the same feeling that I had just now when I was looking at the stats. Now I don't make any money from this YouTube channel um, yet. Um, hopefully one day I will, but uh, you know, it's the same amount of downloads or at least that early stage. And you have to find a way to love the process. If you can't, you probably won't make it because the process is long, the process is hard, the process, um, you know, isn't exciting in a sense of like, you know, that's not what people get excited about. People get excited about the money. You know, if I made a video about, you know, strictly the process and put that in a thumbnail, I don't know how many people would watch it, but if I make a thumbnail that says, you know, how to make $20,000 uh, a year podcast or something like that, a lot of people are gonna watch it because they focus on the result. And the result is good. I recommend, you know, chasing the results and using that as something that inspires you. But uh, if you can't love the process, you're probably not gonna achieve the result or it's not gonna feel good when you do it. Because I can tell you this, early on when I first started, you know, making that $10 or something, I still had this feeling of wanting more. I still wanted my podcast to be bigger. I still, you know, couldn't wait for that day. And I still had that longing for tomorrow, you know, per se, um, in my system. That doesn't go away. So if you are only gonna feel good when you achieve the result, the result or that care will always move because the result you have today is not gonna be as satisfying as the one that you have in your mind for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And so if your only satisfaction or your only acknowledgement of self-worth is on the result, that could be really disappointing. And I think a lot of people don't go and complete their dreams or achieve the things that they set out to do because one, the result isn't what we think it is, you know, when we get it and it doesn't last forever. It's just a moment. So even today, being 70,000 downloads a week, which is a lot, you know, I'm so thankful for it. I still have that same feeling of, well, I can't wait till I get to half a million downloads a week and then I'll be happy and then I'll get a million downloads a week and then I'll be happy and that'll be that'll be the moment when I make it but I know that it'll feel the same when I get to half a million downloads I'll still feel the same because then I'll be looking to a million when I get to a million then I'll be looking to two million and so it'll never stop as far as like this chase of the external goal that's why it's so important to love the moment and making this video I was so excited because you know, I know like 30 people watched my last one already and somebody commented like that's awesome like you spend a little time on something you put your mind into it you put your energy into it and then 10 20 or 30 people watch it even if one person watches it like that's pretty cool now obviously we desire the big things and we want to be famous and YouTube famous and make all the money of course that we do but uh, if we can be thankful for the one when you get the thousand or the ten thousand or the million you'll truly feel the gratitude of the connection of the people and not just the results. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into my computer. I'm gonna show you the number one thing that I did that doubled my downloads. All right, well, we are in the computer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this um, episode that I have coming up soon. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it and we're gonna go to edit. And this is such a simple thing, but this is the number one thing. When I changed this, it changed everything um, for me and I'll show you on the back end how that looks but this all the way down on the bottom when you customize this episode when I first started um, I labeled like season one episode one then you know season one episode two 
and I started uploading everything and tracking the episodes. And I didn't understand how this feature really could affect your listens. And what it does is basically, if you put season one, episode one, that on Spotify won't matter. When someone goes to your podcast, they click on it, they're going to see the newest episode. Then they could sort or they can search by season or episode number. If you go to iTunes, which iTunes is still the biggest place for podcasts. I mean, if charting on iTunes is much harder. So if you go to iTunes and you pull up a podcast by the name. So if someone looks up Positive Mindset or something, they see my podcast. If they click on it, if I have Season 1, Episode 1 listed, that will be the first episode they see. And the problem with this is with someone like myself that was new to podcasting, you know, was kind of figuring out my way as I went, the first episodes I did were not very good. In fact, the very first episodes I did weren't really relevant to the Positive Mindset podcast. They were from a YouTube channel that I had in the past where I just poured the audio over and it wasn't quite in alignment with what my message is now. So pretty much what the person would listen to when they clicked on your podcast or my podcast was the worst episode that I had because I have gotten better as I've made more episodes. And likewise for you, the more episodes that you make, the better you will get. And so that's why for me, it really helped when I stopped putting everything here. I went back and deleted it from every single episode. And now on iTunes, when you click on the podcast, the newest episode is what pops up. And so let me show you why that matters. So if we go over here to the dashboard and then we go down to where it loads here, audience. This is gonna break down our demographics for the audience. And this is really important. Uh, you should know this info just for you know knowledge if you work for advertisers, but also it's good to know who's talking or who's listening to you. So this is a breakdown geographically of where stuff is. You can actually Go even closer so like you click on the United States and it'll break it down um, by state. So California, no, no surprise. I mean, that's a very populated area. So I'd imagine I get a lot of downloads there. But you can see you know, all the places that people um, listen, which is kind of cool. This next part breaks down where the listeners are from. So you can see in the past 30 days... Apple Podcast is actually number one. Now, as I'm recording this, there's currently an issue with Spotify and it's not tracking downloads. So that's hurting these numbers quite a bit because it's looking like I'm not getting any downloads from Spotify for the past few days. And that's thousands of downloads that it's not counting. So these are probably pretty close to 50-50. But either way, Apple is growing consistently and Apple came from behind and has now passed. But if you change this, this is where you can see. So let's choose a date range. And so we'll look back in a year ago from now. So if we go back to October, uh, we're in September. So we'll go back here and click there. So this is for the month of September. 75% of my downloads came from Spotify. So it did take a while for Apple to start promoting my podcast because I did that so long ago. In fact, if you go back to when I had it not changed, we go back to 2020, you know, because it was a few months before I discovered it. So August, I really kicked off the podcast. We'll just give it October. So that way there's been a few downloads. So this is really three months in. 76% coming from Spotify. So that was a major, major player in my growth. And it wasn't until I switched that that it changed. I believe that I would have more downloads now if I had done this from the get-go. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that will get you fired up in a way that you can change your podcast and you can analyze some things and make it for the better so that your message can spread. If you enjoyed this video and you want more, please subscribe, like, drop a comment if there's something that you would like me to touch on as you continue to build whatever it is that your dream is. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.